My name is Kelly of Pixel Rose Hair Design, Swindon's first vegan eco-conscious hair salon. Today, we're gonna to be talking through a quick hair up tutorial to not only help you keep your hair away from your face, but also it's gonna help disguise any problems with those roots you've got at the moment. Um, and also just, it's a fun thing to do, guys. So, using just a few things that you've hopefully got hanging around the house. Let's talk through that quickly. I'm gonna use a scarf today. You can use a hairband, you can use an old t-shirt. There's plenty of YouTube tutorials around to show you how to make clothing into headbands. Make sure it's something that um, your family are okay with using. Don't chop up your brother's favorite t-shirt, no. So, scarf. This is quite long, but I'm just gonna work with it. Hopefully you've got some hair grips lying around. If they have been sat in the back of a drawer, make sure you wash them, clean them. They're going near your face and you know, coronavirus. If you've got like a little bristled brush like this, that'll be quite useful. Equally, a comb is fine. So today's look, we're gonna create like a rockabilly quiff going into like a nice voluminous ponytail. It's quite a vintage retro look but it's a cool one. Okay, so I've already sectioned through the front part of my hair. You're gonna need to make sure it's combed nicely. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the rest of my hair down so I can show you exactly how we get from A to B. Got some hair rips in there already. So when you are doing your hair, make sure you comb it through nicely. I am so rough with my hair, do not be like me. So you wanna just comb through the ends first of all, working your way up to the mids and then through to the root areas there. Oh my God, does anybody else find random hair rips in their hair when they're doing it? So here we go. So my hair is currently on day four of wear. So you can see there's a few natural oils building up on there. I already did a nice home workout this morning as well. So there's some nice sweat up in there, y'all. Okay, so section through the front part, that's gonna become your quiff. Just get the rest of your hair away from your face so you know exactly what you're working with. Okay, so I'm just gonna, whoa, I'm just gonna throw my comb on the floor. Be right back. I washed my comb. <laughs> so, just gonna work through these front sections with some gentle back combing there. It'll make the hair easier to work with and help it to stay in the place that you want. Okay, you don't want too much of a bird nest going on on the outside sections because obviously they'll be on display. So just have a quick check. All right, I'm all good to go. So you just wanna wrap that around. I've used two of my fingers there. Okay, I'll just show you again. In it goes. You need to tuck those ends in so that hopefully they don't stick out too much if they do. You're just gonna need a bit of hairspray just to tame them in. Right, here we go. Once you've got your nice little victory roll shaped quiff, just wanna take your hair grips, <laughs> pop them into place. Lovely. If you are doing this on clean hair, by the way, just need to spritz it with some hairspray lightly, first of all. Or equally, a bit more back comb can help sometimes. Beautiful. There we go. Nice little quiff. It might take you a few goes just to get that completely right. And then when it is in place, you can still kind of play with it a little bit. Just make sure it sits how you want it to. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm just gonna work through the back of my hair to create a cool, voluminous ponytail, you know, much like the kind of 1950s look. So I'm just 
doing some very light back combing because especially when you've got fine hair like me, it makes the hair easier to work with and gives it slightly more texture and volume. Okay, so you can see the look developing nicely there. Got my hairband and I'm going to position my hair ponytail quite high up on my head actually. So you can see it, ah, oh, that look is developing nicely, cute. And if you see, you can have it wherever you want it really. Obviously you just design this look however works for you. Just to finish off this ponytail section, take a piece um, or a section of the hair from the ponytail. There we are. And can you see that there? You're just going to wrap that around the hairband. You don't have to do this. I just feel like it finishes it off quite nicely. And then you can just pin that in. And this look, even though like it's quite girly, like if you're like me and you're not particularly into like the whole girly stuff, it's quite like, you know, rock chick, rockabilly too. So there we go. If I just move my quiff, just make sure it's all covered. Beautiful. I love how this is taking shape. I do not, I never wear my hair like this anymore. And I used to all the time when I was like proper emo and I wanted to be in like Fallout Boy. Used to either have my full fringe coming down, covering one eye, or you know, the quiff. Because that's what I did in my 20s. So this is cute. Um, but if you do want to cover up your roots like I do, because they are super greasy today. If you do want to cover up your roots, you want to cover up any unwanted colour. So I'm just going to fold my scarf real quick. Ah, now you see me, now you don't want it. <laughs> now, that is quite thick, but let's try just wrapping that around there. This is going to create quite a big bow for me, but that's okay. Like, let's just play around and see what happens. Oh, this is looking awesome. Ah, getting all mixed up with my ponytail. So again, this might take a couple of goes just to get it completely right for you. And of course you could use like whatever scarf you want. If flowers is your thing, you can use some flowers. I'm just gonna tuck this in here, just so I haven't got one massive bow. But again, rock the massive bow if you want to. There is nothing wrong with that. This is a completely individual look. There we go. I'm just going to pull my ponytail out a bit more. Cute. There we are. Um, and I can kind of feel the hairband riding up slightly. So I am just using a few hair grips just to help pin it into place a little bit. There we go. And, you know, I have done this quite quickly today. But you can take your time, honestly, take your time with it, practice it as many times as you need to. We have been granted the gift of time in many aspects for most of us. Beautiful. I think that's quite cute. But if you don't like obviously having all your hair back off of your face, of course, you can just pull a few bits down at the sides. I do like to have a little bit of framing going on. And there we have a cute little hair updo that helps to cover any discoloration of your roots. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's quite fun doing hair up tutorials, so there'll be more coming. Um, if you did enjoy it, go check out our Facebook, Pixel Rose Hair Design, for all of our hair colour color and cut creations. The Queen Bee Academy, uh, if you want to go and check out any hair tutorials, we've got some more tutorials going on over there. And uh, also we are obviously proud ambassadors to the Animal Justice Project, so we encourage you to go check them out because no animal should ever be harmed for yourself, for your hair. For your, no animal should ever be harmed for your hair. So go take a look at the work they're doing and equally be proud and be yourself. We'll see you soon.